Hello guys, this is Haven here. I'm um, going to do a quick Cali dried video. I really has had about five pieces or so done up that I hadn't done a dried video. So here we go. Here is my lovely kiss port gone wrong, but the try to save. I have not sealed these yet. They need about another week or so to cure before I do that. Um, I like it. It's okay. Still not 100% happy with it but it didn't come out too bad and it dried pretty nice so yeah it's interesting and here is my flip cup for my you know after I did the kiss pour that went wrong I did my flip cup I really like this I like how it dried I ended up with a goober in it though and I'm not sure how but yeah it still looks pretty cool okay get the lighting to hit it right but I do like it it has a cosmic-y look to it I really like how it did this little how the colors are lighter kind of here and then bright here I'm not sure how I did that but I do like how it turned out it's got some really neat little spots in it like this little line here and yeah I like how this one came out I am happy with this one and then I want to say I did my tiles and I don't remember for sure which one of these I was did the video up I know I did them both about the same time I'm trying to let you see the color flashy part in there because these are done with color flash but one of the videos I was doing one I want to say it was this one that I was doing the video for first well I got a phone call during the video so and it was one I had to take so I did that but I like how it turned out and they're on tiles so that one's cool and then I did this one I believe this is the one that the video got up and I'm really happy with how the color flash worked in it it is definitely got color but yes I like this one and yeah it's got a few different things in it and here is the CD dip I did uh, I think it came out pretty spiffy too. Um, I put a piece of painter's tape on the back of it, but this little part here technically would be a skin that's dried, and I want to. It did get a little poked. I don't want to ruin them because these are real. These are ones I can put something to hang them on the wall, do something. So I think I'm going to take a piece of like cardstock and do a circle, and then glue it to the back of the CD so I can protect that spot a little bit more and make it easier to hang something up too. And I think I am gonna go ahead and do spray paint some of my CDs though because I do see a little silver came through and stuff to kind of seal them before I do paint them. But there's that one. And this is the dip I did on the little four by four canvas that I did after doing the CD. I like how it turned out. It's pretty with color shift colors too. And here is the, okay, here's the way the bottom, bottle, bottom pour dried. I'm liking it. The gold looks really neat. And I really like how the white actually came through it. Even though I did the black and the purple and stuff in it, I do like how the white lines pop through with it. It looks pretty cool. So yes, I'm happy with this one, but see, just a simple wood disc that I picked up, and yeah, it's got the grains through it, and got the grains through it, and it still looks cool. And then here is my tile did with the glow-in-the-dark paints. I, however, <laughs> I am the one, not the kids, I touched it, thinking it was dry, it looked dry, and I was wrong. So, yes, I messed it up a little bit. But it's probably one I'm going to keep anyway because it glows in the dark and looks really awesome under a black light. So, I'm not too terribly heartbroken about it, but still bummed all at the same time. But yeah, so there is my beautiful how they dried. In fact, though, this one I did just a couple days ago, so some of it is still, it's a little tacky still, but it's not wet anymore. But yes, and I want to comment too. I noticed I did hit 100 subscribers. I still haven't done my 50 subscriber pours that I need to do. 
they are in the works of going to try and get them done within the next week or so. Um, but yeah, I am going to, I think just with how things are going right now and I got a lot of stuff that needs sealed so I really have nothing to do a giveaway thing for. I'm going to wait till I hit 200 subscribers and do a giveaway. Once I hit the 200, I think I'm at like 110 now so we've got a little bit of time to get there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait till I hit 200. Once I hit 200, I will do a small giveaway. More than likely, it'll either be like for a tile I've done or maybe even some of my little resin things I've been playing with or a little 6x6 canvas just because then it won't be so much to ship and or even one of my little canvas dip things that I've done. So I haven't decided yet, but it's probably going to be something small for shipping and... Yeah, so just wanted to throw that out there, let you guys know that. I want to thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you do see any of these that you absolutely like and think you need, leave a comment below or email me, and we can talk something out on it. Okay, have a great day. Again, thank you for watching. And don't forget to laugh, because a day without laughter is a wasted day. And we will talk to you next time. Bye.